If you have a vegetable garden and worry about keeping it properly watered, especially while you're on vacation, you'll want to check out the automatic terracotta watering system from Thirsty Earth. When we recently returned from a three-week camping trip, we were happy to see that our vegetable garden was just as healthy as it was when we left, thanks to the Thirsty Earth Oyas, or terracotta cups. We returned from our trip six weeks ago, so keep watching to see how much our vegetable garden has grown since then. We were drawn to Thirsty Earth because it could be hooked up to our existing automatic irrigation system. We also liked the idea that the watering was happening consistently at the root level, making it more efficient than drip irrigation. We ordered the Thirsty Earth watering system for our 4x8 raised garden bed. It came with 11 terracotta cups, which are also known as Oyas, a food grade water reservoir, and all the fittings and tubing needed to set it up. Setting up the system was simple. You only need a small garden shovel and some wire cutters or sharp scissors. The first thing we did was bury each of the terracotta cups following the recommended spacing for our 4x8 raised garden bed. Then we placed the water reservoir at one end of the garden bed about four inches off the ground. Then we added the connectors. For our garden bed, there are three rows of terracotta cups. We added T connectors to all of them except for the ones at the end of each row. For those, we added L or elbow connectors. The connectors have push to connect fittings, so you just slide them in for a snug fit. No tools needed. Next, we attach the valve and a four-way connector to the water reservoir. You can use wire cutters or some sharp scissors to cut the hose lines. Here's what it looks like with everything hooked up. Before putting plants in the ground, we followed the recommendation to fill up the reservoir and allow water to permeate into the soil for a week. When it came time to put vegetables into the ground, we started off with cilantro, basil, jalapeno, cherry tomatoes, and cucumber. We also tried growing kitchen scraps like green onions, garlic, and romaine lettuce. The green onions did very well and are still thriving, but the garlic and romaine died off. I have to admit that I was a bit concerned that the plants weren't getting watered properly when we started using the system. The mulch on the surface of the garden bed looked dry. Plus, I was more familiar with using drip irrigation systems to water the garden. I ended up buying a moisture meter to confirm that the soil was indeed getting good water. And over time, we did see that the plants were thriving and growing. We're very satisfied with the growth, considering we haven't done any above ground watering and the weather has been consistently in the 80s here in San Diego for the last two to three weeks. If you're thinking about getting a Thirsty Earth watering system, here are six tips plus a bonus tip based on our experience. After you have everything set up, make sure you purge the water lines by removing the drainage screw on the top of the last terracotta cups in each row. This will help with filling the terracotta cups fully with water. Be patient and wait at least a week before planting so that water gets absorbed into the soil. Add a thin layer of mulch, one or two inches at most. I think I put down a layer that was too thick and it seemed like our plantings struggled to get established. I also think that's why the garlic and romaine we tried planting from kitchen scraps ended up dying. Try adjusting the water reservoir to increase the water pressure being delivered to the terracotta cups. We started off with having the reservoir around four inches off the ground, but we have since increased it to about eight inches because of the warm summertime weather. If possible, get the autofill reservoir and attach it to an irrigation system that's connected to a timer. This has made a huge difference in making sure our garden gets watered properly, and it's a bonus that it happens automatically and on a regular schedule. Speaking of bonuses, here's a bonus tip. If you notice that your autofill reservoir is getting overfilled, simply loosen the wing nut on the arm float inside the reservoir to control the flow of water.
And here's the last tip. If you have any questions or run into any snags during your installation, send an email to Eric at Thirsty Earth. He's been very responsive and helpful when we reached out to him. His customer service is exceptional. One other thing, you may have noticed the upside down wine bottles in our garden bed. Those aren't part of the Thirsty Earth system and are not needed. But if you're curious about them, let me know in the comments and I'll make a video about them. If you found this video helpful, please show your appreciation by using the link in the video description to purchase your Thirsty Earth watering system. We do receive a small commission at no additional cost to you if you use that link to make your purchase. So thank you in advance for your support. And remember to make it an epic day every day.